Hello, we are back. It's the GTO podcast. It's episode twenty. Trying to make that money. <laughs> um, but you can do that. You can help us with that by supporting us on Patreon. <laughs> we got Twitter. We got a Facebook. All that's on the YouTube channel. Go there. Um, go over there and watch old podcasts. Maybe support us. That'd be nice. Give us some uh, criticism that we won't take into account. Um, anyways, what's up, Sam? Oh, nothing. I just uh, haven't been sleeping well the last couple nights. Waking up at weird, weird hours. Mm-hmm. Well, you know, I just thought about something. I'm trying to make money, right? I'm trying to get rich. Yeah. Um, I'm like Wario. I need to collect these coins out here. Yeah. So I looked under my bed oh, and I found, I already knew this, but I saw over 1,000 Pokemon cards there. I'm like, I don't play Pokemon. I don't, I don't play a TCG at least. But I'm like, I'll sell all of these because I got some really rare ones. So if anyone out there is interested in, in uh, collecting these Pokemon cards, um, email us and we can negotiate. I have, uh, I'm going through some right now. I got some pretty rare ones from Base Set 1, if that means anything to you. Um, nothing at all. It means nothing to most people. But if you are interested, I'm definitely, I got a couple of, a lot of rare cards, holographs and stuff like that. Ooh. So, and I'll be willing to negotiate. I'll lower the price. I'm just trying to get rid of them and get some money off of this. So Every get... card is worth six million dollars individually. So uh, prepare to shell out that paper. Yeah, I can negotiate down to four million, but this is as low as we'll go. Anyways, I've been searching on the internet as mm-hmm. one tends to do for for video game news. Ooh. And today in the well, yesterday in the news, uh, somebody posted an article about a new game that's coming out. Uh, called Neil deGrasse Tyson presents Space Odyssey, and it's a VR game, so you know you can't get this on your sweet sweet Xbox One or PS4, uh, unless they make it for PlayStation or VR. Oh yeah, they didn't specify which VR it was for. It just said VR, so it's not coming for a while. But at the, yeah, at this point, it's probably going to be for like Oculus Rift since that's the biggest, biggest one out there. Yeah, yeah. And what I got from it is that it's going to have real uh, physics and mechanics that uh like in space but uh which i find troubling because do we not i don't we not know everything there is to know about how the universe works and how it expands no and uh the basic the basis for all physics um einstein's theory of relativity i believe you got it some scientists have collected data that disproves that seemingly so like all that we know about physics could be objectively wrong. All right. Uh, well, the whole point of this game is teaching people about physics. So to model play after our universe, letting players build their own galaxies and star systems. I don't know what any of that means. It sounds vaguely interesting, but it's not like sixty dollars interesting. Yeah, I mean, like if it's on a Steam sale or something, I'd pick it up, but yeah, I wouldn't be like. It's definitely in that forty-nine to ninety-nine cent range. <laughs> no, I mean it's like a, I'd I'd probably pay ten dollars if it were reviewed well enough and it were interesting, but um, I'm not gonna camp out for this game. Well, I noticed that they a buzzword near is I heard I saw sandbox, saw Minecraft, I saw collect minerals. Whoa! What does that sound like to you, Sam? Sounds like a bit too a bit not, not too open world, but like. Well, it's literally the most open world game. It's the whole. It's the whole yeah, universe. It, it just sounds a lot like what No Man's Sky tried to be or said they were gonna be. No, this. No, no, no. This is the point I want to make. Is that this is what No Man's Sky wanted, wanted, to, well, is wanted to be, but they said something like in certain ways they did not say this because they kind of hinted at having a multiplayer, which this has no pretense of having a multiplayer and shouldn't. And it kind of hyped on having an adventure throughout the universe with friends, maybe. That's what people took it as. And when people find out that they're really disappointed in this, in No Man's Sky. But with this, I feel like this could be No Man's Sky, but without all the hype around it, could lead to a better game. But I don't know if as many people are going to buy it. But I don't think that's the point with this game. To, no. to drive, uh, to like drive consoles or whatever. So, I don't really see. I see the point that like, I see the point but I think the point is pointless um, like to educate people on physics and stuff like that's all good and stuff but you just brought up all of that could be fundamentally useless 
if uh, if what Einstein said is true. But not true. If it's not true. Yeah, because right now they're taking it as truth, but scientists have done tests that might disprove it if the results can be replicated consistently. All right, all right. I mean, so when you get this game, you have a nice, nice Oculus rough upon your face. Oh. Yeah, I'm not gonna buy it. So you, but I thought it was interesting. Yeah, I, I mean, I. I wouldn't probably go out of my way to buy it, but if, like, a friend had it and they were like, hey, let's go play that Neil deGrasse Tyson game and like, get <laughs> sick from, mo get motion sickness. You know, what, what? Get motion sickness oh, yeah, in yeah. VR, yeah. The one thing that I notice is why Neil deGrasse Tyson so full of himself. Neil deGrasse Tyson presents, get out of here. Get out of here. We don't need to be branded by you. I and mean, like, even Peter Molyneux from, like, Fable and all that, <laughs> even he wasn't like, Peter Molyneux presents Fable 2. I mean, he doesn't want to put his name on that trash. He's pretty full of himself, though. No, Fable 2 was good. Oh, I played Fable 1. Or was it 3? It definitely wasn't 2, but it was Fable definitely trash. Fable 3 was trash. Yep, yeah, yeah, that's the one. That was the free one I got, and that was trash. And then there was, like, the Fable 3, like, horse driving simulator for Kinect, where you'd just be, <laughs> you'd just be driving a horse carriage. Talk about trash to Kinect. <laughs> that's something, like, I'm trying to collect all the, uh, all the achievements in Madden 25. Ooh. And the achievement, I just can't get certain ones like to call it no huddle, all the all in the connect. I'm not about to buy a connect to get all the achievements in this game. Like, why would you do that? I'm, I'm a completionist, but I'm not a. I'm, I'm not an idiot. I'm not a masochist. That's that's replicable. That's a comparable to self circumcision in my eyes. Um. Anyway. That's a real rip off. Why? Another thing. He's full of himself. Why is he? Why is he pronouncing his like full name? Like why the grass in there? Like, like no one. I don't go around calling myself Mark Anthony Davis. I mean, that, that's that's part of my first name, even. Yeah. Like, I don't know. Full of himself. I know I'm supposed to support him because he's a fellow black man, but I'm not. You're not a black man, or you're not supporting him. <laughs> Maybe both at this point. I don't know. Okay. Jeez. It's all about. Me. No, I'm Phrasing. definitely black. I'm definitely black. Yeah, ladies. That doesn't mean anything, but. No, it doesn't. But you know, people people think it does. Uh, anyways, why not play into them stereotypes? What do you what, what you want to talk about next? You want to talk about the upcoming games that are, are coming out in October? Oh sure. All right, so we're gonna go through yesterday. Uh, Mafia Three came out. Ooh yeah. Looking fantastic. Have you seen any of the gameplay yet? Yes. Uh, uh, one of my not one of my favorite YouTube groups, but like a, a pretty good one outside Xbox. They've been doing a like a let's play review thing. Hey, don't promote them. Don't check them out. They're, they're <laughs> way better than we are, and I'd get jealous. Um, oh, well, stop lying. All right, well, what, what was the most important thing? What did you like? Um, to me, it just looks like the Punisher game that we deserve. Punisher? It, he's a comic book character. But, like, okay. the point of the, the, the story for Mafia 3 is you're, you're taking down the Mafia families in New Bordeaux. Mm -hmm. And much like the Punisher was taking down the gangs of New York, so I don't know. It just got me hooked with that connection. All right, all right. Wait, did they make a Punisher game? Is that something I could buy? They have made a couple Punisher games. Oh right. Well, what console? So I could buy this. Get the one for the PS2 or GameCube. Oh dang! I thought it would be on Xbox 360. No. Oh, never mind. I think they made one for that, but it was like garbage. Well, that means it's going to be only one cent on Amazon. I could buy it then. That's that's what that's how that's how I buy games these days for the Xbox. You you look up Xbox games, then go to relevance, switch that to price, uh, low to high, yeah. and then you go to one cent plus five dollars shipping, and then you get two worlds too. <laughs> and then you hate yourself because you got two worlds too. And then you played one hour of it and never touched it again. Um, the fact that you could sit through one hour of Two Worlds 2 is what surprises me. Yeah, it was one hour over one year, so... Oh, well, <laughs> so that's like five minutes every couple of days. Yeah. That's fair. Um, what also came out yesterday was Paper Mario Color Splash for the Wii U. I was interested in this. That was a collection of words. Yeah, it was. And a Color Splash, when I, heard, when I saw those two words, I'm like, I don't even have to look at this game. I'm not going to look at the trailer. I'm not going to look at any gameplay. I know that's what you're supposed to do to have a valid opinion, but I know this is not what we want. You play Paper Mario 1 or 2 before? Uh, no. No. Well, I, well, I have, and I love those games because they're pretty solid RPGs. Um, I mean, they're not especially hard or easy, but they're alright, and I enjoy them. But Paper Mario, uh, Super Paper Mario wasn't 
my cup of tea and Paper Mario Sticker Star was definitely not well liked and I feel like this is going back to that this is not Paper Mario 3 in my eyes um, so I, I'm not gonna look at it I'm just gonna leave it alone I don't even have a Wii U most people don't anyway on October 10th 100 foot robo ro robot golf for the PS4 and the PS VR so you're a big robot playing golf 100 foot robot golf yep sounds pretty fun it sounds like a game. How do you feel about VR? Like these weird games, like the first thing to come out. They're like niche stuff. Like the really weird stuff, I guess. Do what you want. Like if if you get, if you make any profit from it, good for you. You got some suckers. But, I mean, I'm really excited for like the Batman VR and the stuff like that. That's uh, basically an already established thing that people want. Or at least really want the idea of so I'm excited for that uh, I, well I guess they're making this weird stuff now to like test the capabilities yeah. on all their engines and stuff which is fine but it's not gonna be conducive to many people buying this I guess but I guess that's not the point right now um, on October 11 Gears of War 4 is coming out for Windows and Xbox One you buying this no but they really should have called it Gears of 4 this is the perfect opportunity. Anyways, and they blew anyways, it. I'm not the first one to make that joke, so don't don't go hate. Um, me. so so do you even like third person shooters? Cause I don't yeah, really. Kinda. I and mean, they can be fun. I don't know. I don't think I ever had fun with a third person shooter, but that's just me. So I'm not really. I've never been in the Gears of War. Rise of the Tomb Raider, the 20 year celebration, is coming out. Uh, that's the very same day for PlayStation 4. Are you a Tomb Raider fan? Never played Tomb Raider. Well, Alright, we'll move on. October 13th, Res Infinite for the PS4 and PSVR. That's a game that exists. I forgot what it was. Because it's been like a week, over a week since I uh, got this together. But Shadow Warrior 2, that sounds cool. Um, it's a... Oh, if I remember this right, it's like a, a really arcadey fighting slaughter game for the, win, for the windows of PC you're probably not going to buy it so it doesn't matter on October 21st I Battlefield Battlefield's coming out the game that I really want is coming on PlayStation 4 Windows and Xbox One and on the same day what a big day what for games big day Civ 6 is coming out wow that's so much fun it is like I, I really want that game too bad I don't have any money what do you think about Civilization I don't know I played like four ten years ago well that's a good contribution do you like battlefield yeah well yeah because i played some demos it looked pretty good the the one thing because they got they got everything else down in my eyes the game's pretty balanced enough um and all the destruction's really authentic the game's really authentic and that's what you can always like expect from these games what i don't get is there's not enough gore in these games Okay, well, you're just sadistic. You should uh, play the Punisher game. There's lots of gore in there. Well, I don't know. When people always say Battlefield in general is realistic. And it's not realistic till you have real gore in my eyes. That's all I'm going to say for now. I guess not, but... It's authentic, and that's the difference. <laughs> October 25th, Dark Souls 3, Ashes of Ariandel. That's a DLC, right? You looking forward yeah. to that? You like Dark Souls 3? I have not played Dark Souls 3. I played Dark Souls 1. Oh. I like Dark Souls 1. I thought you I have said... not played any of the others. Oh, well, you like getting your ball smashed, I guess. I do. Dragon, <laughs> Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. Will this game disappoint like the last one? Probably. Alright. World of Final Fantasy. I'm not talking about this. October 28, Titanfall 2. Will this game actually have a campaign? Will it yes. be more than like 30 hours of game? Yes. It'll be like 31. Alright. Well, that's good enough for most people. Better than 30. The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim Special Edition. Is this the remastered that uh Yeah. Alright, so I'm getting it for free, so I don't care. Because you got it on PC, the yeah. original. Oh, that's yeah. nice. And, and I'm getting all the DLC for free too. Wow, that's really cool. Will your uh, saves carry over? I don't know. But I don't care, I mean Yeah. I mean you're gonna play the game over anyway. Yeah, I was I was gonna do that. And that's coming on the PS4, the Windows PC, and Xbox One. Didn't say anything about Linux, so sorry for all you Linux users out there. Darn. Uh, games with gold. <laughs> we got a great lineup this week, this uh month. Super Mega Baseball Extra Innings. That sounds like some words. Andy. The Escapist. MX versus ATV Reflex. Wow. I am alive. 
All great games, I'm pretty sure. We got PS Plus games. Resident Evil 1 HD Remaster. You played Resident Evil before, right? No. I haven't either. I think I played one that was set place in, was in Africa, maybe. All I remember is black people. Oh, like the racist one? The one that everyone was like, oh, that's racist. It's like, no, they're just... They're just black. They're just in Africa. <laughs> they But... I mean, if, like, if you were in Detroit and... If it were Call of War as the cartel, then yeah. Yeah, that would be racist, because that game is... I always want to play that game. I have a poster for that Don't game. Don't play it. It seems... Wait, why? Is it bad? It is, it is despicable. It's garbage. Is the game bad? It's a bad game. It's got... It's not just, like, bad gameplay-wise. It's disgusting. The fact that anyone was like, Hey, let's uh, let's do this. It'll be fine. It's like, no, that's not fine. That's not okay. You're being racist and sexist. There's a mission. The only enemies you can kill are African Americans. Hmm. In that mission. And it's the only mission where you get a trophy for killing a certain number. Hmm. And that's an achievement? Yes. Wow. So when you play an Xbox and the thing to pop up like your friend just got killing this black people achievement. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, Transformers Devastation um, is free now. You know this game is trash because I think it came out last year and it's already free. So we have nothing else to say about it. We got Mad Writers. I think I was pretty interested in this, but I don't have a PlayStation 4, so I cannot play that. And From Dust. This seems interesting. I didn't really look into it, but I mean, you don't. If you. I mean, it's free stuff. You're probably going to look into it anyway, so. Yeah. Xbox definitely lost this month like they most of the times they do I remember from the very beginning like that's how I played Fable on like I think it was on the first couple months of games with gold they gave us Fable I think it was it might have been three or one whichever one it was it was complete utter garbage oh my God. it was one step up from two worlds jeez and actual sunlights on the coming off PS plus I forgot to mention that anyways from last week I forgot to get a game of the month, and a game of the month is Summon Knight Sword, Swordcraft Story. Sword. No, that's the p correct pronunciation I heard. Sword. Anyways, I need an excuse to finish this game. Come, I'm, I'm like almost done with it, and cool. all right. So, and you know, you know, you have the game. I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, I think I have the first and the second one. All right. So, uh, if you want to play along, we'll go over it about three or four weeks from now, whenever the first podcast of November, November is yeah yeah and well next twenty uh, fourth episode yeah and now I think it is time to go over the movie we're supposed to watch Pulp Fiction yeah did you watch Pulp Fiction Sam not this week <sighs> it's very disappointing okay well to be fair to have a movie of the week and then a game of the month and expect me to keep my sanity through all this that's eh, not gonna work well well thank I can barely stay sane like existing so the movie Please at guess. most will be three hours all right yeah you, you got at least free three hours on saturday or sunday okay and the game is probably like 20 hours long so you divide 20 over 30. that's a day total hmm that's like a day what do you mean yeah the movie in the game adds up to like a day a yeah but you day. divide that day over 30 days and that's not that bad all right, I'll sit through one thirty. Well, of no, Pope no, Fiction. no, no. That's not you know. That's the movie of the week, so you're doing one seventh of Pope Fiction. It actually works because it's seven acts. Anyway. Yeah, I mean I would, but I have stuff to do. Do you know bigger fish to fry? Bigger fish to fry. Yeah. Well, um, one do you seven. know anything about Pope Fiction? Like, do I do. So, what do you think of it? Since and you're like limited uh, watching of it. It's definitely not for the children. What makes you say that? It's gory. It's got some language. Uh, there's some pretty sexual stuff in there. Pretty sexual. Well, there's only one. I mean, there's like sex scene, if you could call it that. I was talking about the dancing. Oh, that's not. I would want to show that to my kids. <laughs> Drinking milkshakes. Kids don't drink milkshakes. That's how you get pregnant. Milkshakes get you pregnant. I I really like the old school by a step uh, step by step. So the first uh, scene, oh. well even before that, I'm gonna go find the first quote. It was the definition of pope, which I'll read it to you right now. Uh, pope, a noun, a soft, moist, shapeless mass mm -hmm. of matter. Moist. 
that's the first uh, definition. The second one is a magazine or book containing containing lurid subject matter and being characteristically printed on a rough, unfinished paper. Yeah, Mark Holland said. Hmm. And uh, so that's how you start the movie off. And you keep that in your brain. Um, so the first scene is in the diner. It's the prologue. Yep. And the two cop- couples are bickering over, like, one is, like, like what they want to rob. They didn't want to rob a liquor store or whatever. Yeah. And then, and then they, they just robbed the They diner. just robbed the diner. Um, and that's where Jules and... No, 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 no. That's at the end. And okay. then you go to the next act. With, uh, you meet... Uh, what was, what was it? Was well, the next scene is when you meet Vince and the Jules are together and they're in the car. That sounds about right. And they're shooting a breeze and they they have to go. Hmm, they're shooting their friends. I really, I'm not. I guess I can't. I'm not gonna squall, but I like this scene. I really. I, what I don't, I don't. I guess it's a sign of a great movie because I really wish we had like two more hours of this Vince and Jules <laughs> doing stuff together and shooting people. Okay. What are well, you not like those characters are like the coolest? Yeah. Like take out those Bruce Willis scenes, get them out of here. We need we need more John Travolta and Samuel in here. I really I really like that, but um, don't you just it felt so powerful and felt so gritty when he's like reciting the lines uh from the from the Bible and all that. I mean, they aren't really from the Bible. Are they not? What was no. that? I mean, I, at least they aren't the verses that he says they are. Oh. Do you feel like uh, they did that on purpose? Like, does it have a deeper meaning? Probably. Probably. Or what would that deeper meaning be? Because he's know. he's supposed to be like a, a devout religious guy. Yeah. But he doesn't. He's citing something that's not there. I think that's interesting. I might have like misinterpreted that. I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Most people don't read the Bible, so and uh, it doesn't matter. More. Or ever, I'm pretty sure people back. I guess it's one of the, it's the highest selling book of all time. So you could make yeah, and they buy it and put it on their coffee table. Anyways, uh, so Vince, well, I don't know. I don't want to summarize the whole thing. We should watch the movie, but I don't know. It's, it has good. I think it has good action. It has a good story. It has everything. I just I really like the scene. I really like every scene. I don't know. I, I'm really blanking right now, but it's like everything about this movie. But um, well, since you didn't watch it, I guess we really can't talk about it, which is disappointing. I'm sorry for having. Anyways, to we're do. gonna choose a movie for next week right now. So the the, the actors that really stood out was uh, Samuel Jackson, of course, yeah. uh, John Travolta, Bruce Willis, Uma Thurman, and Quentin Tarantino. Yeah, cause he is an actor. He, he was in one no, of his... I, I know, he was in it. But he, he was, was uh, Jimmy, I believe, was He's in all of his movies. Yeah. Because he loves himself. Anyway, I picked out... I, I got all his actors out, and I wanted to see what were their other great movies that I liked. Or that I think I would like. In some cases, I watched them. So, Quentin Tarantino, the next movie that I would want to watch from him is Reservoir Dogs. Okay. Samuel Jackson, Snakes on the Plane. I watched this movie. There's no other actor in here. Um... So he's basically carrying this movie from what I remember. Great movie. Uh, John Travolta. The other movie that I was interested in from his selection is Face Off. Um, Bruce Willis, Die Hard. Uma Thurman, Kill Bill. So out of all those options... Blames one and two or just one? Well, we'll watch one at first and see how that goes. But anyway, okay. out of all those movies, you have to choose one. But the thing is here, if you choose Snakes on a Plane, for, for instance... Your other options would be the other stars in that movie, and it's only Samuel Jackson. So you have to pick another Samuel Jackson movie after that week. I got this. So Wait, you define Samuel L. Jackson movie. Like, does he have to be in it the entire time? Well, if he's in the movie, I'm pretty sure he's gonna have a prominent role, right? You know what I'm. You know what okay, I'm. Okay, but mean. I mean, like, if he's in it for a, a big chunk, but not like an actual fifty-one percent. Yeah, I mean that's fine. That's fine. All right. Then. You know what they say? One drop, saw Snakes you know. On a plane. Snakes on a plane. That's my shot. Have you you saw it before? No. I think you'll enjoy it. Yeah. Why? Why not the other ones? Tired of these mother effing snakes on the mother effing <laughs> well, like, That's the highlight of, of the movie. Yeah. Great scenes in there. What's wrong with your hand? I don't know. I think I got a splinter. Uh-huh. But why you don't want to watch a uh, Face Off or Die Hard or Kill Bill? Well, Die Hard is 
the best Christmas movie of all time, but I've already seen the best Die Hard movie of all time. It's called White House Down. You should check it out. Mm-hmm. Um, I can only watch one movie a week, by the way. So no, I that's fair. You do that. <laughs> I'm not saying you should check it out. I'm saying they, the microphone, should check it out. What about Face Off? Uh, it's got great practical effects, but I don't like John Travolta, so I'm not gonna. Why? Because he's just so weird. I guess. He's off-putting. I wouldn't let him babysit my children. Well, then his what happened to his kid? Because when I was Google trying John Travolta, said John Travolta's kid, and I didn't care to Google it. So what's wrong with him? I don't know. Probably dead. Uma he's Thurman. just crazy. What about Kill Bill? You like Kill Bill, right? Yeah. Well, I guess not good enough. I don't know. My there was a thing in middle school, allegedly. Yeah, his son died. Jeez, <laughs> rest in peace. Oh, that was the worst. That was the worst time to bring that up. Anyway, there's something about my brother when he was in elementary school. They apparently bullied him using Kill Will Volume Two a lot, <laughs> which I don't believe because, like, I don't think life was that bad up there. But I, I don't know. I had it good, so I. Wait, what do you mean? Like, it's it's kind of like I, I was never, I never had a problem, so no one else had problems. No, no, no. What's Kill Will? His name is Will. Oh yeah. And Kill Bill. It's a play on words because they want to kill him. Oh, I thought they made like an actual short film. Oh, no, they killing yeah, somebody that looked like Will. Well, never mind. That would be bad. Well, how is that supposed to hurt my feelings then? Because they want to kill you. Man, they ain't, they're not going to do it though. No, they're not. <laughs> but you never know. So I guess it's settled then. We're watching Snakes on the Plane, one of the best movies of the mid 2000s. Okay. All right. Well, I want to move on to how's life going. So. For me, pretty good. I mean, people aren't. I'm not talking with people, not interacting. That's great. With humans, so it, yeah, it has its moments of being great. Like what? Most of the moments are great, though. Just not having to deal with people consistently. But like that's a, a blessing and a curse, some would say. Yeah. You're a social animal, Sam. Yeah, but I'm an anti-social social animal. That's not good. <laughs> but I mean, like, what do you mean things are going great? Like, you, I'll find it a. I just don't have to deal with people, so I'm generally happier overall. So, well, we'll go back to when you were at school, and what, what was so bad about the people around you? They're just so stupid. You can move. You don't have to be by them. No, but like everybody. Name names. I'm not gonna name <laughs> names. Uh, this is one kid. His name was Mark. Just really entertaining. I got you. Um, like what's been happening specifically like you've been learning anything about yourself all this downtime right I don't use it to think about myself too often I've been practicing archery and by practicing archery I mean practicing drawing so my muscles get used to it well you plan on being an archer when you grow up it'd being, be fun uh, well, it's, not you... something, it's not something I want to do as a profession but it'd be fun to do on a weekend and I could cosplay more realistically and probably put an eye out at Comic Con. Oh, yeah. No, I mean, I wouldn't bring actual arrows because they'd get confiscated. Mm. Probably. Oh, you'd be like that. Oh, well, never mind. Not gonna bring that up. What? Can't, can't joke about shooting, Sam. They're serious. I wasn't joking about a shooting. No, I was about to. Oh, do it. Never mind. One hasn't happened in recently enough time to offend anybody. Dude, they're happening all the time. It's been a few months. A week. It's been a few days, maybe. It's been a couple weeks. It's, it's happening somewhere. It's been a couple weeks since a big one in the news happened, so. <laughs> the news doesn't dictate how important it is. Let the jokes roll. Um, but anyways, I guess I'll start talking about me then. Yeah, you, uh, how's your uh, lady friend doing? I don't, why do you say it like that? Because I don't know how to talk to people in a normal way. Alright, uh, Ask me, like, questions, I guess, to lead me. Have you conversed about where you two stand with each other? No. <laughs> but the conversations are never like that. It's usually about, um, it's never really deep conversations that frustrate me. Because I'm trying to, trying, I don't know if most people are like this. Because as, I'm, as I'm doing this, I'm learning more and more about people. I don't know, I'm trying to give them a, a leading question, but it seems that they're not like picking up on my advances or acknowledging them, or they're just denying them outright. So like, if I ask how your day is going, I'm expecting a little more than good. 
You see what I'm saying? Like, if you ask me how my day is going, I would describe everything that happened in my day. Yeah. So we could talk about it. But I seem like, if you just say good, it seems like you don't want to talk, which is well, kind of discouraging. I mean, when you just ask a question that can be answered with good, you're basically asking for an answer. Just that one quick answer. But If you want people to talk more, ask them, like, so how's your day? Like, what did you do? You gotta, you gotta like leave it open. You can't just say, "Oh, how was your day?" They'll be like, "Good," because most people are gonna be like, "It was good." I don't want to talk to you. But if you make them want to talk to you, then they'll talk to you and maybe do other things like text you or yeah. whatever you kids do these yeah, days. She definitely does not text me. I text her all the time. Definitely doesn't come by me. No one does. It's a very uh. I don't know. That's so what you're saying is you give up dibs and other people can swoop in now. What do you mean? I'm kidding. I'm pretty sure people have been swooping in before me, swooping in during, swooping in after me. I don't know how things are going. I don't know that much about it, but uh, people... I'll be there soon. I don't know. Just give me a couple weeks. What are you going to do? <laughs> what aren't I going to do, Mark? You shouldn't do anything. I don't know. So I don't know what how I'm to, hearing is you should do everything. I don't, I don't know how to deal with this. Maybe I shouldn't. Maybe I should just move on. Cause I feel no, don't don't move on until you like get a definitive answer. But then speed speed up your speed up your process. But think about think about don't like this. Think about it like this. If I look for a definitive answer, let's say like you you want to go out sometime, and she be like no. And then you can move on and not feel bad. But if you move on and then you're like, oh gee, I wonder if I wonder if I had a chance. Wonder if I if I'd have just waited another day. Maybe that would have been the time that she was comfortable. No, but you you know what the answer is going to be before. It's, it's like you know, depending on how she acts around you, it's going to be yes or no. Oh, so if you know if that it's going to people. be, if it's going to be no, it's you. You don't want to burn that bridge because if you ask her like, "Oh, this is what you wanted from me this whole time," well, it's kind of awkward to go back and be friends with them. And I don't want to ruin the it, working relationship that we have. <laughs> Mark, you sound like me, and I'm not the person you want to sound like when it comes to relationships. Oh, I think it's different, though. Uh, I think the situation... No, like, these are the exact thoughts that I have when I'm thinking to myself. When I'm thinking to other people, I'm like, nah, just go do it. But you shouldn't always go through. You should be able to read the person. Just go do it. Because depending on what you say, I mean, if you... Just know... do it! Alright. Thanks, thanks for the helpful tip. Just do it, and, and just get denied, and then you'll be lonely again, and the cycle repeats. You won't be lonely. There are other fish in the sea other women at the school that's not even true you know that's not true <laughs> no, i mean none of them are like i don't know if they're your type i don't know what your type is apparently it's white people whoa whoa you got that arctic fever no no, no that's no. eskimos let's that's be just the flu white people are the flu no let's let's be uh, <laughs> let's be strict here I, I'm white Thanks, women so let's be strict here I know this this uh, podcast is gender fluid, sexual fluid, all that good stuff, whatever all that stuff means. Podcasts don't really have genders. Whatever. Um, so my my view of people is changing now from this incident, from other incidents as well. It's like most people, in my eyes, they don't seem as interesting as you think they would be. Like you view somebody and like, oh, it's this new exotic thing. Like, wow, she's really pretty. I wonder what she thinks. She must... If she's pretty, like, you have this notion in your head, like, just instinctually, oh, she's pretty, she must be a good person, she must be interesting in some way. But when you get down to it, you know, just like anyone else, it's kind of disappointing. And then you're like, geez, uh, I don't know, it's kind of disappointing thing. Like, do you ever think about that? Like, you, how do you mean? How like, you think about what? Like, a person's just interesting to look at and you find out that they're, they're not. And then they're not like, interesting to like experience not at all it's like disappointing almost no because i'm afraid to talk to people that i find interesting okay well interesting to look but, at but i guess it would be empowering for you then because like you know this person this person's not all that because most people aren't all that yeah but like it's it's finding out that they're all that that's the problem it's getting over the hump hmm. <laughs> catch my cold hmm. well another question i have is how am i perceived I wonder how other, what other people think about me. You're like a, how tall are you? A six foot five. You're a six five black man. But that I'm goes to a school. I'm in talking Lake about Hill. I'm talking about character traits, character traits, and what do they think Wait, about so me? Black isn't a character trait. Is that, what, is that what you're telling me? Well, I mean, 
I'm not, no, I'm just going to say. Mainstream media has lied to me. But, like, I don't know. I can't really articulate this well, but I, I just wonder what people think about me because I can make, I don't have, I don't think I have any, like, bad interactions. All of them, I think I, I'm batting 90% on interactions, I would say. It's pretty good. Um, like I could make people laugh. See, if you're going with the baseball thing, it would be batting 900. 900, yeah. Because it's out of 1,000, it'd be point. No, stop, all right, stop. I'm just saying, if you're going to go with the metaphor, go with the metaphor um, all the way. Speaking of going all the way. Stop, all right. Uh, no breaks. But I could make people laugh. I could, I could, uh, I could do all. I could do. I could be like a charismatic person. Like I could do all the charismatic things. But do people think I'm charismatic or worth their time? Probably not. Why would you say? Well, I mean, you wouldn't know. You don't go to school. I've been with school. Okay. From what I've, I'm going but you to be, can't. But I'm projecting uh, my thoughts on everybody else, which is what you're supposed to do if you're in power. It's the only right thing to do. So you don't look like you command a room or anything too well. You don't command an audience in quite the same way. You're interesting, sure, and people, you're good when, when you get to know, when they get to know you, but just looking at you, you're not loud. You're not like the social butterfly everybody runs and is like, ooh, Mark's gonna say a thing, let's get out our money, our, our pocketbooks. Does anyone do that for anyone though? Like no one's... Yes. But no one's like that... Is no one's like that at this school though, but I feel like people Not get that anymore. attention. Class of twenty fourteen though, they had a couple people. No, they're all no. No, I my, mean some of my brother's friends, like no. no oh, not in our class. All right, I got you. No, he was like amazing. When that guy would start talking, I would just shut up and listen. He was a great storyteller, a great liver, uh, well, showman. That's the word I I used all the time. There are a couple YouTubers that are great showmen. They just know how to command a room, command an audience. They're interesting, even if I don't necessarily agree with their topic. I don't know, but I feel like I, I do that now, though. Like, whenever, I could say, like, it's one sentence, and people will listen, and people might laugh, and people will probably laugh at it for some reason. But, like, no one's, like, when I'm just sitting down in the study hall, no one's coming by me. I just feel, I don't know what that means. Like, do you ever attract a crowd? Like when you're telling stories or jokes or anecdotes or something, do you um, just like get people, or is it with the close friends that you're already sitting next to that hear you? I don't, I don't know what you mean when you attract the crowd, but I have, pe I have had. Like, do people go out of their way to listen to what you're saying, or is it just the people that are already sitting next to you that hear what you're saying and then they're like, "Hey, that was cool." Uh, I'm pretty sure it's people that can just hear me, hear me. I don't know exactly what you mean. I don't. I don't think anyone's coming up. No one's coming up to me and talking. Well, that's not not crowds of people. Like one or two people might come up to me. But I don't know. It's kind of odd. It's Let us know down in the comments below if you think Mark is charismatic. You well, know, you would. You, you would you know, know that if you, you would, know him personally. You gotta let me finish. If you know him personally, which all of our audience does, except for like two people. Let us know in the comments below. I don't really go to class with anyone besides Dante's. And I'm only in one of his classes. They still know you. Like Henry and David mm. and then they know you. I don't know. But I, how do you for, uh, perceive yourself then? I don't know. I mean, I, I wouldn't go out of my way to talk to me if I was someone else. Hmm. I guess that's a good question. When I go out of the way to talk to myself. Would would I do talk to myself? Um, well, knowing what I know about me, I would. But if I didn't know anything about me, I probably wouldn't. Like I know I can say some interesting things when the ball gets rolling, but I wouldn't see that the ball was already rolling if I were a completely different person. I don't know. I really just don't understand this because I I don't go up to anyone that. Well, no, no, I'll fix it. well, I don't go anyone thinking they're interesting. I, I like I happen to go to like I happen to be right next to a person, and if it works, it doesn't. I mean, if it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Yeah, but you're also not like you don't you don't go and do a whole lot of things. Right? Not outside you, of school, you, no. you don't hang out with a lot of different people than your group of like ten friends, maybe. That's no, I, I talk to a lot of people, but I'm not friends with a lot of people. That is what. I was going for. Like I'm polite to a lot of people, can hold a conversation with a lot of people, but I'm definitely 
definitely don't like most of them because most of them just in my eyes offer nothing wow. <laughs> i mean they don't offer nothing to me they offer something to their friends obviously like everyone you know spo- i mean like, it, do they really or do, we, do they just think they do i mean they have to right they wouldn't be friends if they didn't some people are just friends because it's like they're friends i used quotes because they think oh well i could get something out of this person all right, well, let's, let's rewind it back, right? Because people are going to be asking, like, what's the point of this conversation? There is no point. The point, well, we're humans, and we have to make a, po- a point out of everything. And I agree, not everything has a point, but I am guess what I'm saying is I'm confused on how I'm perceived. Um, I'm just confused on how I'm perceived and how to perceive myself because I feel that those two things are different, which makes sense. Um, but then that goes back, is, is perception really reality? I mean, it, I don't think it is for me. Do you feel like it's the same for you? Like, how do people? Why do you think people see you compared to how you see yourself? Like, what's the difference in that? I think people see myself better than I see myself. Mm, you have low self-esteem then. Sometimes I can be pretty down on myself, but most people can. Most people hold themselves to a higher standard than other people do. What do you mean, hold yourself to a higher standard? Does that like, mean if I make mistakes, I'm going to beat myself up over it mm-hmm. forever? Like, I'm going to be going to bed, like, ten years from now and be like, oh, there was that thing I said that one time in, like, the third grade. I am so going to die for that. Yeah, I'm still cringing over moments from seventh grade. Middle school was not a great time for me. Cringe. It's like... <laughs> talk about cringing. I'm cringing, and, like, I'm, like... It's like watching a YouTube video, Got but that leafy is here cringe factor. It's stuck in my head. I'm like rolling in my sheets under all the covers. I'm between the pillows. Like get it out of my head. Stop it. But I just can't. And you know, uh, somebody told me this. Your your mind holds on to those negative memories, so you learn from. So I guess it's a good thing. So you won't... is it though when you're like getting sleep deprived every day for years? Um, it's only by five minutes. I guess it adds up, but yeah, it does. I'll make it up in the naps in pre-cal, don't worry. Oh. Fair enough. <laughs> I hate that class. She's right. our teacher's been gone for like a week. Oh, I wish I had teachers that could be gone for a week. You, all right, well, <laughs> uh Well, because like I have to do something every day. I don't get any off days like you guys do. Yeah, I mean when it's senior year every day's off day. Exactly. Cause you really don't they don't really give you that much work and you don't really have to read. You really don't have to do anything, and like sometimes there's like some days you kind of have to, because eventually you have to get an assignment. You have to have grades in. Yeah. But it seems like it seems like they know almost that we don't care anymore, and like they don't care anymore. Like you see, people rag on me because they're like, "Oh, you have it easy." I'm like, "Well, I guess technically, yeah, I do, but you guys also, also have to do a lot less work." We also have it easy, unless you're an idiot that takes like like a three APs, like you're doubling up doing all that dumb stuff with all that math yeah or you're taking ap earth science i mean environmental science or ap biology you're not like i don't see what's the point of that unless you're trying to be in that field and even then i don't know because i mean even if you guys don't have like whole days there are going to be class periods where like people are on a field trip or they're like with the german students that come in or whatever and so they're just not going to do anything or they're this will be later in the year but they're taking ap testing and so half the class is gone doing dual enrollment or whatever and the, so you get those class periods off but i don't have that luxury yet you have the luxury of doing your work from home though yeah but that just is and you could cheat temptation. on every test you could cheat on every test man you could cheat on every test but the yeah. temptation to fall asleep is so great sometimes i mean your body will not make you sleep like past 10 hours i'm pretty sure so you ha- you're going to be definitely awake for 24 you minus 10 think about body making me sleep a little thing called frying pan little thing called concussion (laughs) i would never concuss myself to go to sleep if you're gonna get cte you might as well join the football team become a kicker i I could join franklin's football be the next janikowski i don't have the leg strength for that i skip leg day every day Mm. well it's only once a week so you skipped it once a week when, well, I got a good, I got a good question then. Well, what's your workout routine? I draw my bow thirty times a day, thirty to forty times a day. Hey, do, do you have like you going like in the backyard and kill stuff? No, I don't shoot. I just draw in my room to get the muscles. Cause there's no real workout 
for the muscles that you use to draw a bow. It's not about strength. Well, I mean, there is muscles. It's not about piercing, but you can't. It's really hard to work these muscles out in a way that would be helpful for drawing a bow. Mm -hmm. We well, gotta do those upright rows. Rows. Even like, that doesn't really like like, like it's kind of like you're pulling the um, you're pulling the, the yeah, thing. But even back. that. That's what I'm saying. Even that it does help, but it's not exactly the same kind of workout. The mm. best way to work out for archery is just to draw your bow. That's what I've heard. Mm. You gotta kill stuff. I do uh, have to kill stuff. You like killing squirrels and stuff? I've or? actually got like a whole. I've got a thing of stuff I'm going to buy. Oh, you better not go on the school internet with that. You'll be no. on that watch list. No, I mean n nothing bad. Just like a cloak. Get those explosive tip arrows. Just a cloak, an old longbow, and a tunic. And then I'd show up to school, just like Aragorn from Lord of the Rings. Kidding, it'd be like the Ranger's Apprentice series. I, I, was, uh, I was looking up guns, because that's what I do. I'm interested. Why would you do that? Uh, I was looking up M4, like an M14 for sale, an M1 Garand for sale, going on these websites. I'm like, I wonder how fast would it would be at school? for me to be on the watch list. You were doing this at school? Yes. Mark, Anthony, <laughs> David. I know it's irresponsible, but I wonder what would happen. Nothing happened, though. And now people think I'm weird, apparently. Yeah. There's nothing wrong with that. Yeah, you're kind of Guns weird. are cool. Nothing wrong with guns. Guns don't kill people. <laughs> guns don't kill people. Bullets kill people. Let's right. get that through our heads. But yeah, this is the sweet ball I'm looking to get. How much does that cost? Two, two, two hundred dollars. I, I didn't say I was gonna get it anytime soon, or ever. But I'm looking into it. We see, you have a bow right now, right? Yeah. Well, but it's my cousin's bow. It's on loan. And it's well, this is weird. what you do when you get when you get good, right? Yeah. When I get you good. just get your bow. You get one arrow, and you take your take your uh, that person now, whoever owns that bow, and then you got a free bow. No. I'm solving your problems. You I got more kill problems. My cousin. Also, it's a weak bow. Like it's a it's a kid's bow. It's not something I could hunt with. Or really do anything other than like tournament target shooting with. I remember one time at summer camp, I had we had like archery class, and on the first bow, I mean on the first like shot, I got a bullseye. Yeah, same for me. Does that mean I'm a natural? That also could be beginner's luck. I mean, you know what they say: luck is when preparation meets opportunity. Sure. Technically. <laughs> I mean, yeah, technically it is. Now I'm prepared to get that bullseye. Yeah. Uh, yeah. If you pause it, pause it. Oh. What, what's what's happening right now? Where are you going? Keep All right. Should probably cut that out. He didn't keep talking. He didn't do his job. Mark's gonna get fired. Should probably cut that out. Yeah. Well, I'm probably not going. Why? Because audio editing is tiresome. I did that once last week. Oh, and it was painful. Because I had to cut out when I said that kid's name. What kid? Just re-listen re <laughs> Just re -listen to yesterday or last week's thing and you'll see what I cut. Well, I only got one more thing to talk about. That's, uh... I'm trying to join a Pokemon League. Wow, that is <laughs> so sad. Well, how's that sad? Because it's Pokemon. What do you mean the, Pokemon League? Um, like cards? The game? No, the game. Okay, good. As long so as I've been saving up money to don't. buy a 2DS. It's, uh, it's, a, it's a terrible console, by the way, but... Yeah. It's um, a waste of time. It's not a waste of time, but... It's kind of a waste of time. It just doesn't have that sweet, sweet 3D that works 100% of the time. Because it's a 2DS. Mm-hmm. But I still play the games, though. At a lower frame rate and lower performance, but still all right with me. Anyways, uh, I'm joining the local league at Metairie. Ooh. So I'm gonna try to fight some tournaments. The one that plays at Plus One Gaming. Yes. Nerd. How then? What else do they offer? Cause they sell card games and stuff. Will I be able to sell my cards there? Mm, probably. Oh, that'd be cool. I gotta go yeah, over there. Some tabletop so. stuff. Ooh, they do magic. A lot of the time, I should check it out. Do you even like magic? Like, yeah, I love magic. I don't, I don't like card games. I used to be in Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh sucks. It does. All these different summons, the fusion summon, the pendulum summon, like the five pieces of Exodia. And, Phallic summon. And then, yeah. Uh, 
why would you just accept that? You know, it's like, yeah. I mean, it's probably real now. Like, after 5Ds, I mean, 5Ds and, and later, just <laughs> at, <laughs> everything went wild anyway. I think we're done for the day. It's gone wild. I remember watching that in the. <laughs> in, in what? The infomercials and stuff. I'm like, why? Like, why is it all censored out? It's like it's like two in the morning. No one's watching this besides my eight year old self. I'm like, let me see them nips. <laughs> You're a disgusting eight year old child. You were a disgusting eight year old. How am I a disgusting eight year old? You were a disgusting eight year old. When I was eight, I was worried about like not getting cooties, and here you were watching porn infomercials. Is it really porn though? There, yeah. there, there was no porn. There's no well. From what I've seen, these information, there's no penetration. That doesn't matter. It's sexual material. I was artistic, though. I'm pretty sure. Doubt you could legally claim that's artistic. You see where they put those sensor bars? That's pretty artistic. That's not artistic. It's just a literal bar. It doesn't penetrate the human condition. So I think we're done for the day. I don't think we'll ever be done. So, if you enjoyed this or whatever, you should do something about it. And you should probably, like, go home. Probably play some games. And next week, by next week, you should probably watch uh, Snakes on a Plane, Sam. Yeah, I will. Um, if I'm... If I have time. If you have time. Because I've got other movies and TV shows to watch. But you don't have to watch those, though. Because no one cares about your opinion on those. I do have to watch them. Because I care about my opinion on those. And I'm going to make money off of my opinion on those. Why? You, you, uh, you're uh... It's called being a movie reviewer. Or just, you know, like, shouting your opinion really loud until people get upset. On 4chan? Yeah, on 4chan, you. yes. Not on 4chan, in public. I go shout on a street corner, I keep playing music, I play it really terribly, and then they pay me to stop. That's mm. how you make all the money. But you have to buy a guitar or something. I have a guitar. Oh, cool. Yeah, guys, I'm so cool. I have all the friends, and I am drowning in bleach. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Kidding, 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 kidding. kidding. Well, we're done. You better, you better end it. Like, comment, subscribe. Don't do that. Go check out. Our don't, Patreon. don't do that. Don't do that. You should go home and take a nap. You need it. For the love of Christ, Mark, this is why I don't want to do YouTube with you anymore. Why? Never mind. It's a joke. It's comedy. Remember that thing that you said was comedy? No, you, you shooting, said shooting me down. You said something about Christ, so I thought you were serious. Um, anyway. Anyways. Like, comment, subscribe, check no. out our Patreon. Follow us on Twitter. Stop.